my name is Ken W. Chow. I've been a professional trader for about 15, 20 years. And I want to talk to you about some of the things that uh, have made me a better trader. Now, a lot of you may be having difficulty in the emotional part of trading. You may get frustrated. You may be impatient when you're looking for a trade or when you're in a trade or when you're thinking about when to get out of a trade. Let me start by asking you this question. Do you really love to trade? Why do you trade? Now, the obvious answer is I want to make money. Well, there are a lot of things you can do to make money, but why do you trade? Why is it that you uh, like about trading? Do you love trading? Now, let's start by looking to see what trading really is as a business. As a business, trading allows you to do, have complete freedom. You have no employees. You have no products. You have, you're not offering any service. And because of that, it's the world's greatest business, right? Well, let me get back to that question. Is it really? Because there are a lot of paradoxes and conflicts in this business. And I'll get back to the questions that I asked earlier. Do you really want to get into trading? Why do you want to trade? Now, because trading is such a free-flowing activity, it doesn't have a feedback loop to tell you when you're doing something wrong. In other words, if you take a bad trade, how do you really know what went on? Okay? In other traditional businesses, you may have employees, you may have customers, you may have competitors telling you what you're doing wrong. So you can do corrective action to improve your business. Um, if you work for a boss, a boss may tell you, hey, straighten up, you're doing this and that wrong, and he'll warn you before he'll fire you. But in trading, you may be deluded to thinking that, hey, that trade could have worked well if I held on a little longer. And, and this is where you may get into the mindset of thinking you know something where there's nobody really telling you what to do. It's just you and the market. By the way, this is where mentorship can really help. I had a mentor who really helped me in seeing where I was and what I was doing and not doing. Okay. Now, you need a very good trading methodology. That's true. I'm not going to talk about any particular specifics as to what type of system would be good or would, would work for you. But any system or methodology would need to have, it would need to give you an edge so you will have more winners than losers. But going back to trading, there are all types of uh, uh, potholes that you may fall into. For example, in trading, there are no rules. The market simply is. There's no beginning, there's no end. Your broker can uh, give you the certain number of maximum contracts that you can trade if you're trading futures. But other than that, you can buy and sell wherever and whenever you want. There are no limits. And in 24-hour markets, you can do that very, very easily. Now, if you came from a background where you have uh, a boss that's very restrictive, who basically uh, micromanaged you or uh, gives you a lot of flack, or if you own a business where your customers are very demanding and where a lot of competition is here and there, you can basically uh, want to escape and I want to do something completely free. I want to do trading. I can do whatever I want. Now, in this environment where you can do wherever you want, there's a little bit of a, a danger zone as well because you need to give yourself discipline. Okay, and coming from an environment where there are no uh, uh, freedom, you might want to do whatever you want. And here's where a lot of traders go wrong. You need to make rules for yourself. You need discipline in an environment where there are no rules. There is nobody watching over your shoulders. And in so doing, is you against the market, but you're not really going against the market. It's actually you going against yourself. Because in trading, what happens is, Everything is completely naked. You don't get to hide. You can't brown nose your boss. You can't undersell your competitor. It's simply you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. And that's where a lot of the inner conflicts and inner turmoil come in. Okay, so how do we fix this? What do we do to have discipline? What do we do to have more of this inner peace that is absolutely needed to trade? Because after all, trading is not a physical thing where you're not trying to fix a, a machine or, or software. 
where you can command it to do whatever, whatever you want it to do. It's completely you against, against yourself, actually. So where do we start? Well, let's talk about discipline. Somebody once said, however you do something is how you do everything, and vice versa. However you do everything is how you do something. So with discipline, I recommend you having discipline in the small areas of your life so you can eventually have discipline in all areas of your life, including trading. Take washing the dishes, for example. Make sure you do that on time. If you need to call somebody, call him on time. Don't procrastinate. Okay? By building up your discipline muscle, you can do the right thing uh, on time more, more often. Okay? That's number one. Number two, you need to have discipline in your eating. Now, I've been eating a very healthy diet lately, cutting out sugar, junk food, and what you need is a healthy body. Healthy body makes a healthy mind. Remember, trading is all mental, so you need to have a very strong mental disposition. You want to have uh, a very healthy body. Look for superfoods. That's my recommendation. Superfoods are wonderful. They include spirulina. These are exotic things. Um, they include special teas, uh, goji berry juice. In fact, one of my top traders, William, he drinks goji berry juice uh, every morning. Gives him energy, gives him a lot of vitality. So again, improving your health in the most uh, highest manner would be uh, very ideal. So you want your body to be healthy. Okay? You also want to have physical exercise. Now, if you're a day trader like I am, you're sitting in front of a computer and all you're doing is clicking your mouse with one finger, okay? And, and you can get mesmerized by watching that screen. You need to walk around and do things that are more physical to balance out the total mental discipline of trading. So, go out and do some exercises, okay? Go for a walk, do stretches. Um, I've been doing the kettlebell lately. It has helped tremendously in the different muscle groups and it's a very raw type of uh, exercise where you get in touch with your real inner animal, if you will. And, and so you'll be very, very much in tune with your body and your mind. Now, speaking of mind, we talked about how there are a lot of different inner emotions and beliefs which are the real core to um, turning your trading around if you're frustrated and impatient about your trading. Let's talk about what those things are. Why are you frustrated and what is it about uh, you that makes you impatient when you're in a trade or when you're waiting for a trade to develop? Well, impatience, uh, frustration, these are all manifestations of fear. Okay? So fear is, 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 a, is a big thing. A lot of us have hidden fears that are disguised as frustration and impatience and other types of uh, negative mental, um, emotional baggage from childhood. And here's where you really need to take a discipline that can, that can uh, eradicate fear as much as possible. Because after all, if you say you love trading, and trading has things that can be uncomfortable like losses, and you feel that taking a losing trade is a bad thing, and you now feel fearful of the market, well, how can you love something, trading, and you fear it at the same time? Possible losses. So you've got to eradicate that. You can't have that inner conflict. These, again, are paradoxes that are inherent in trading. So how do we do that? What do we, how do we turn this around? Well, I recommend different types of um, mental, emotional things. There are things, do things that are much more internally oriented. And instead of working out, which I talked about, stretching, kettlebells, going to the gym, playing tennis, you want to work in. What does that mean? You want to do things that are meditative in nature. Do meditation, do Zen, yoga. I do Qigong. Qigong is very, very powerful. It helps me center myself. It helps me be present. Anything that's meditation or inner calming type of activities are very good. My top trader, Greg, he, trade, he trades wonderfully and effortlessly. 
And when I talk to him, he tells me he wakes up at 4 o'clock in the morning and meditates for two hours every morning. Now, you don't have to be a meditator. Again, find something that resonates with you. Find something that would make you feel like that's your style. Okay? You can also do other things. NLP, uh, rebirthing, breath work, breathing exercises. All of these things are very, very important. And you want to incorporate all of these type of activities in your regular day-to-day uh, -day activity. In other words, when you take on the commitment to take care of yourself, outside of trading, seemingly it's unrelated, you want to take care of yourself physically by eating well, by working out, exercising regularly, and also, like I said, working in. Okay? Zen meditation, very good. Qigong, Tai Chi, martial arts. These are things that will give you the self-discipline that you will have on your day-to-day -day life where that can carry on into your trading. So if you are frustrated and anxious and nervous about trading, look deep within yourself. Look in the mirror. I bet you are anxious, frustrated, and nervous about all things in life, little things in life. Okay, Because, again, you don't go against the market. You just... The market simply is, and because there are no rules, everything that you see and feel and experience when you're trading is simply a reflection of yourself, of what's happening deep down inside. Okay? So again, take as much uh, research as you would need to find out whatever resonates with you deep down inside. Like I said, I've been taking uh, spirulina, been cutting out sugars, junk food, starches, wheat gluten. All of these things are very important. You want to eliminate as much as possible any stress that you may have in your body. There are these exotic things that are coming out that can help you improve your health in general. All of these things combine together to give you a very healthy emotional, physical uh, well-being uh, from all perspective. So going back to my original question, do you really want to be a trader? Are you committed to become the best that you can be? Okay. Again, trading is a totally mental, emotional type of activity. And that's the hardest thing for us to, to, to uh, address if we're not careful. So what I'm suggesting is go through all different types of self-improvement uh, points that you can do to totally eliminate all types of stress, anxiety, and emotional baggage from, from your childhood from way back. And to do that on a regular basis, to have discipline to take care of yourself. Okay. Now, I used, to, I used to say, when you trade, you want to be in harmony with the market. Now, I'm going to change that around a little bit by saying this. In the end, you want to be in harmony with yourself. And when you do that, you will find that trading will be very rewarding, not just financially, but you'll have the health, the mental uh, clarity, and stillness to enjoy your success in trading.